Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome back um, uh, to the hearings of um, the TRRC. Imam, you have the floor if you can offer some prayers, please. Thank you very much, Chair. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Rahmanir Rahim Maliki Yawmiddin. Iyaka Nabudu Iyaka Nasta'in. Ihidna Sirat Al Mustaqim. Sirat Al Jina An Amta Alayhim. Khayr Al Mahdubi Alayhim Waladalin. Alhamdulillah, hadina li haza, wa ma kunna li nahtadi. Lawla anna hadina Allahu al-awwal al-akhir wa al-zakhir wa al-batin. Ya Rabbana laka al-khamd, kama ayyan bahi, wa jalalu wajhika, wa aziman sultanika, wa sallallahu ala sayyidina Muhammadin, khatimin nabina wa imamin musallina. Bahormati Allahumma sallim wa sallim, wa barik ala sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alim Muhammad. Subhan rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun. Wassalamun ala al-Musalina wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Amin. Amin. Shukran nama Imam Jalo. Bishop, you have the floor, please. Thank you, Chairman. Lord God of power and might, the creator and sustainer of all humankind throughout the whole face of the globe. In you, each and every human being, live, move, and have our being. We continue to ask that you grant us your goodness, grant us your love, grant us your sympathy, and grant us to be peaceful at all times in our human relationship, in our dealings with one another. We pray that by your Holy Spirit's power, you will remove from all of us all evil thoughts, and wickedness. And so, Lord, as we continue to, in our TRRC sitting uh, this day, we submit all the witnesses that will appear before the Commission. We continue to ask that by your Holy Spirit's power, you shall grant them the boldness to be able to speak the truth and grant the Commission the designing spirit to design between truth and falsehood. And we also equally beg that you grant the populace and those that are in the diaspora to have the patience to allow the due process to take its proper course. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, I'm, uh, Bishop Padeko. Council, if we are ready with this morning's witness, please proceed. Uh, good morning, Mr. Chairman, Commissioners, and members of the audience. Uh, we are ready to proceed with this morning's witness, and Ms. Mariama Singate would lead the witness. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Over to you, Mariama. Thank you. Ay keba seka. Man keba seka. Ay keba seka. Ay keba seka. Ay keba seka. Do swear that. Do swear that. I'll speak the truth. I'll speak speak the truth. The whole truth. The whole truth. And nothing but the truth. And nothing but the truth. So help me God. So help me God. Good morning, Mr. Chairman. Good morning, Commissioners. 
And good morning to you, Mr. Witness. As you already know, Mr. Witness, my name is Mariama Singate. And I'll be leading you on behalf of the Commission this morning. As uh, you have voluntarily decided to come to the Commission, it is my duty to inform you that you are expected to speak the truth and nothing but the truth. You had previously signed a warning telling you that lying to the commission is an offense under the TRRC Act. And I remind you of the same morning this morning. For this morning, we will be discussing your background information. Including your education and career progression. We'll talk about the culture of torture at the NIA. Which includes your own personal victimization. We'll talk about the use of the NIA as an unlawful detention center. We'll talk about the role, your role in investigating the December 30th attack. We will also discuss your role in the investigation of the April 16th, 2016. As per our outline this morning, you are called here as a victim of torture by your own colleagues and also as a witness to the tortures that took place at the NIA. Can we start now? Yes, Council. Wow, Council. Can you please tell the Commission your name? Commission Bi Nakangatuda. Can you pardon me a minute? Let me greet people here. I was Billahi Mina Sidan Rajim Bismillahir Rahman Rahim. Mr. Chair, Commissioners, Councillors, Audience. My name is Keba Seka. Mangi Tuda Keba Seka. When and where were you born? Yo Kanga Judo. Akfo Judo. I was born in Banyun. On the 28th of September, 1972. <coughs> September, 1972. Can you please give us a brief summary of your educational background? I started my primary education at Alberta Primary School. Mangi kuma se nyanga Albreda Primary School. Then to Muslim High School. Mato huja Muslim High School. Where I sat to the GCE O level certificate. Majel fana tum ham ham GCE O level certificate. When did you um, finish your primary education? Yo, sa jangin bunyo wa primary education. Kanyo ko jihalo? 
1985-86 academic year. Atum 1985-86, sila kujehal. How about your secondary education? Legi sanya lele fanya janga bunyawa secondary education. Kanya kujehal. 1990-91 academic year at Muslim High School. 1990-1991 Muslim High School la kujehal. After completion of uh, your education at Muslim High School, what did you do? Binga jehale sa jangin bi fufununu si Muslim High School. Langa defadi. I was not doing anything at the time. Jamano bubu nak defu ma wandara. What else did you do from there? Langa defadi bufa lulu jogi ko. I was assisting my uncle at a pharmacy. He was operating in Dipakunda. Mangron ya pale suma nija aiki farmasi bo hamne munko amoncha dipa kunda. Did you take up any other employment during that period? Si jamano bobo wala si wakto bobo nunu. Da amna benen lige binga hamane jil ngako ngako don def? No. Did it. Thereafter what did you do? Lege bufa lolo jige lan nga def? And I applied to the National Intelligence Agency. Dama bindo si liga ika yung hamne yung kawah NIA National Intelligence Agency. When did you apply to the National Intelligence Agency? Kanyang bindo wan, wala dugal sa binda pero wana na danga buga liga si National Intelligence Agency, the NIA. In 1998. Atum 1998. Did you receive any training prior to you being admitted? In the NIA. Ndayo amna jangin binga hamante na defal na inlako wala defunga ko si jamano binga hamante na duganga fufuno na si NIA. Yes. Wow. And how long did that training last? Lulu nakala yage janga bu. The training lasts for three months. Dem na bedi rinya tuer. What was the nature of the training you received? Yo banfason janga la inla janga lon. On the trade craft of the intelligence outfit. Come again, sorry. On the trade craft of the intelligence outfit. Eche wali ni falinga hamne mo di choli ni national intelligence agency be. Can you please break it down first? Nda mo nga nyoko fatam fanchal pro nyomo na ham lo la la teki. The trade craft it includes collection of information. Ada fobok kanak si dajal le ay hebar. On espionage. Cewali miri sekare. Threat to national security. Lo aju cewali ngaham ne moy karangi reumi. Surveillance. Akid guess su cewali sekare moment. And investigation. Akid guess su ngaham ne moy doh fufu ci NIA. You also did. Bit on the constitution that empowers the NIA. Definitely, Tamil lo aju chile ngaham ne mo di lo amire umi dohe ngaham ne dafa dole lige ka NIA. In your training, did you have any models on human rights? Da yuyan sen jangil binga kaman de lor ngen non def. Da yen ngin lendon jangal si walu dem si wale aha ya ha dome adama agiela fam. At the time, no. Jaman obo ba de did it. After your training, can you tell us uh, what post you were given? Binga defe jangil mi be pare. Legi yo ban fan lañ la tegon wala fan lañ la ebalon pour nga ligé. I was posted at the headquarters. Ñu mayo bon ci kër gu magga fofu ci NIA. What um role were you playing at the headquarters? Jamono binga neke fofu ñu ebal la fa. Yo ban façon ligé nga fa don def. I was an operative at the time. Manak, linyo wa operative la ne kundi ya manobo dohalishwa liligebe. As an operative, what were your responsibilities? Omkayo yangu dohalishwa liligebe. Si lolo, yao ban ban bunta lenye la job, pronga tawe fufu na ligebe bunta bobo na. To collect information. Man, pour madajale, aihebar. Under which unit were you operating? Si ban bota yanga don lige. Si ron ban bota yanga don lige. I started with 
the political department. Mangi commence ci fan bi nga xamne ño taxaw mili politique. And from there to counter espionage. Gana lolu ma dem fi ño wax counter espionage. The leader I was transferred to Bundung command. Gana lolu nak ci lañ mëndal di yobbu Bundung. You mentioned the political department. Yo wanga fi ci bunta bi nga xamante ño amé walum politique bi. Can you tell us what work the political department does? Da mon nga ñowa bunta bobu non sen liggey lan la umba. They were responsible of the political affairs of the country. Ñom ñoo saytu won lepp lo xamne mo aju ci biir politique fi ci biir rewmi. Can you explain further in what aspect? Da mon nga ñoo gëna netale ci ban anam la. All the political activities going on in the country. Bep yengu yengu bo hamne munge amchuali politik fichi bi reumi. Will I be correct to say that the political affairs department was used as spies on opposition political parties? Nda muna wane bunta binga wani mu ya political department niom dalen don jafande ko punyone kani nga hamante na donyone ka di 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 yundo wala di set. Ninga hamante na nola politik sen jiti politisiani naka len don bahale fichi reumi. Yes, and even the ruling party. Wow, I can say party. Being a ham ne moy party ngur gita hao. In majority of the work that the political department does. Si lige binga haman jana yen sen mbota ebo wala fana bo lige binga de defsi walum politikli. What were they? Which parties were they mostly focusing on? Yen si sen lige bo si yen political party ngende gina baichel. Mainly the major opposition parties. Let you open up now, party opposition you maki. And um, the operations of those parties, was it considered as something that was important for da. the NIA? Nda, nyo nyo, political party yoy non, opposition political party yoy. Nda nyo dohali asen bir, nda dafa neka linga haman, dafa amal solo trop NIA bi. At the time, yes. Yamano Bobo, wow. When information is gathered um, with respect to opposition political parties. Bufeke Demgen Bengen Dejele Aihibar, Yinga Hamantan, Mungi Duplu, Si Yinga Hamantan, political parties, Yini. What do you do? First, what kind of information will you collect with respect to opposition political parties? Njel Ben, Yen Ban Fason Hibar, Ngen De Dejele. Silu dem si wale un opposition pati yini. We will attend their meetings and cover it, make recordings. Denyo dem tewe ji siyen meeting yi, niko lefe yu record ko. And transcribe all the meetings covered. Bipo meeting bo hamne nak tewe nany fa, dinen ko jil kadu yin fa wahib, nyu binda ko. And Senate has a report to the analysis department. Today? Analysis department. Bukan efenak New York, bukan cipta revinga hamne nyom nyokos serdal di kos serta serta antal ko buba. And where would the analysis department send this report to? Negi, nyinga haman tena nyom ame walun hibar yu yu nono binko serta segat ko serta antal serta ko buba. Negi nyom falen de yu ne report bubu nono nyom suni si pare. The management. And where would the management send this report to? Legi management be more in a kilifa yo, billion to hear report be new in term for Len Kodi Yobu. The management will send the report to the executive. Management be not then go you in a kilifa gumaga. And when you say executive, who do you, what do you mean? So, a hang gurgi, can get take you for fun. You know the uh, NIA is directly under the president's office. I'm the NIA mom, mom run office president. So we are answerable to the president. president. So you gather information about the opposition political parties. And you send that information 
to the office of the president. In that regard, would you say that you were working for the interests of the president or for the state? report bingen de sen ci office du president nda mo ngena wane yen president bi ci bopam ngena ligal bila molé itel wala rew mi ci bopam molé itel bala ci at that point in time the president first jamano bo wudé president bi moy jitu so in your operations it is the interest of the president first before the nation legi dafa non yen sen walun ligé ni ngen ko de doxalé dafa non lu itel president bi lol mo nek sen 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 juntu way lol mo nek li nga xam lol ngeen den jëk set bala nga na sher li nga moy jëriñ askan bi that's correct lol de gala when you start off as an nia operative bi nga doore di ligéyal nia What do they brief you with respect to your duties and responsibilities as an operative? Nyom la lañ la de wax ci du dem ci anam bi nga xamanté non nga wara doxalé sa liggéey bi. You are there to defend the integrity of the state. Dang fa nek nak pour ar li nga xamné eh modi tu rew mi. The head of state. Akit ki nga xamné moy njit rew mi. In reality in carrying out your operations dega dega bu fege ya nge doxal sa ligey which interest precedes the other ban ban ñaar mbir yeni bu a bu rew mi ak bi nga xam moy president ban mo la ban ngeen wara ñeka gis that time the president first jamano bobu president bi moy jitu was this the mindset of all nia operatives at that time ndax kep ko xamantene ya nge ligey ci nia bi ni lañ dey xalaté won li moy sen gis gis Yes. Well. And it's with this mindset that you carried out your responsibilities at the NIA, correct? Eh si anam bi ni nonu ngeen de doxale sen liggey. Correct. Well. You've told us that uh, you worked under the political uh, department. Yo wax ñu fi ne nga ne liggey nga si fanna bi nga xamanté mom lañ dewa political department bi and the department for espionage te mu nek benen bunta bi nga xamanté ño de satch ak xibar ni after working on the these two departments bi nga ñëwé ba liggéey ñaari fanna liggéey kay yi ni ba paré what was your next uh, position legi lan nga defati then i was transferred to kemoto ci lañ ma toxal nak yobuma kemoto And what was your role there? Has a lesson. Came out to as a lesson officer for six months. Ne ko na fa la wax lesson officer tollu ci juroom ben wer. Where is Kemoto? Fan moy Kemoto? Is in Kiang. Kiang la nek su fi Kiang. Central River region. Ci tundi Janjambure. And roll lower river region sorry. Ci tundi Mansa Kongo. Um as a liaison officer what were your duties and responsibilities there um ka ci jamono bi nga xamane ya am fa don liggey yo lan moy won sa bunti liggey lan nga don liggey fofu non to gather information pertaining to the threat to national security pour dajal ay xibar lu aju ci lepp lo xamne modi xedje mal karange rewmi And what were the kinds of information that were considered threat to national security? Kon legi ci yow ba yen fa son xibar ñu nek xibar yi nga xamanté dafa xidjamal walum karanga bi. Anything that, that would destabilize economically politically of the state. Lepp lo xamné rek dina yaaxa dal gi nga xamné mo nekk ci rew mi mo xam ci walli politique mo xam ci walli qomi rew mi For how long you said you stayed there for six months Yo wax nga né nekk nga fofu lu mu juroom ben wër Thereafter what was your next post then Légui bu fa lu jégué fan lañ la ébalat Then I was transferred to Fatoto Ci lañ may yobbu Fatoto And which year was this Bi ban at la won photo to be 99 2000 if i don't suma fatte wuda atum 1999 la jim atum 2000 what was your role in photo to 
How long did you remain in Fatoto? Nakanga Yage won Fatoto. I think I spent eight, eight, eight months in Fatoto too. Yakarna Pufu Jurum yet to wear la am Fatoto. And what was your next post in after Fatoto? Legi Binga Jage Fatote, Fallen la Ebalat. Birkama. Birkama. Governor's office. She office of Governor B. What um, role does the NIA have at the governor's office? Your NIA, you are not only legal and you are not the full office of the governor. Because uh, it was the divisional headquarters. So for my one, for example, the money mechanic to the whole no no yep. And how long did you remain at the governor's office? Nakanga yage for full no no office of governor. It was one year plus. If now for the attack dara. What was your next post in thereafter? Legi bo fa jagi fa denla ebalat. I was posted to Kaur. Kaur leng me yobu gana fufu. What year was this? Bi ban atla one. Two thousand and three, two thousand and two, two thousand and three. Again, two thousand and two, Jim, two thousand and three. What role did you play in Kaur? Yo ban fa son legi nga dem. Bamfason ligi inga dan defu fu si kaur. Zim has an operative. Fufu tamem na fanya kondo halu ali ligi ba fufu. How 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 about your next postings after kaur? Ligi binga joge kaur kaur falen la ebalat. And from kaur I was transferred to Mandinaba. Mama ba eko kaur na kila njema yubu Mandinaba. What was your position there? Yo ban makama nga ame one fufu. Also has an operative. Fufu tamere li nyo operative do halwa li ligi ba fufu. After Mandina ba where were you posted? Bojege Mandina ba falen la ebalat. Then to Jiboro bola post. Nyo bo manak ya foreign chair Jiboro. What was the nature of your job at Jiboro? Nakala sa ligi ba melon fufu si Jiboro. Also has an operative. Fufu tamere li ligi ba la for don def. After Jiboro where did you serve? Bojege Jiboro fanga demati. I came to the tourist development area here. Ila nyona kifan na binga hamu na nyota hawa le tourist gifiti tunavini. And what was your duty there? Langa fado lige. Also has an operative. Ofo tamit operative. For how long did you serve as an operative? Yo no ya ge one binga don binga le jele punga ne kasi walu nyo dhalle lige. For almost twelve years. <laughs> You've worked at the tourist development area as, a, as an operative. And that was in 2007, correct? Correct. In 2014, you were an invest, you were an investigator. Si adum 2007, yangi nene kwa nini? 2014. Si adum 2000, 2014, yangi nene kaka kwa yangu doni ge si walu se tu mbiri, mbiri. That's correct. And you served under investigations from 2014 to 2017, correct? The bunta ba wuno, lige inga fa dibi 2014 ba 2017. That lola? Correct, kanzu. Wanu la kanzu. And thereafter, you were posted to Buyam. Uvalolo jige seleni la tohala ni yobo la buyam. And care party. A care party. That's in 2017 and 2018. Lolo digan de 2017 la 2018. That's correct. And now you're based at the headquarters, correct? Yeah, ifunyo leni yangu ni kasi sian mahama bumbagbi. That's correct. Nola. As an operative. Yao si king so nige kinga hamu ame walu ni yao dhalle ligebi. What were your roles and responsibilities? Saligi ebi lala lala umba. Lan pamfasoni ligi inga wara def. Collect information. Fufu danya la hibari. And send it to the headquarters. You ne kocha makambo makba. Were you also involved in arrest? Nda boka duga langa saloho silu dem diluwalo ni Japan dal nini? No. Did it. Were you ever involved in arrest during the years you served 
as an operative ndayo musnga boka ci li nga xamantene da nga den di ngeen doon jappandal nit ñi ci jamono yi nga xamantene yoy nga liggeyon fofu ci NAE bi no they did you were telling the commission that you were never involved in any arrest since the time you served as an operative and that's 12 years legi ya ngay won commission bi yo dibi bi nga deere di liggey fofu ci NAE bi tolon na fukki attaque ñaar te ci beere fukki attaque ñaar yoy no muslo bokka ci dara li nga xamantene sorry not liggey ci NAE bi bu ndon saab as operative bi nga doon liggey ci bi nga doon nek yon fofu di amé wal yon toxalin liggey bi ci jamono bo bu non yeb fukki attaque ñaar yo muslo tie ken no did it we'll move from that can you tell us about the culture you've already told us that um the mindset of NIA operatives is Jamaica's interest first before the nation ah legi ñu joge fofu non ndan mo nga ñowa adabi bi nga xamantene mo daan xew fofu ci NIA bi ngir njerbel mi waxon nga ñu ne comme yeen sen walum liggey ni ngeen ko de defare mom lu itel jamé lool ngeen de ñeuk gis bala rew mi that time yes that's correct jamono bobu waaw lool de gala and in um carrying out this interest legi pour doxal a ité bi ni nga xamantene lool ngeen de itel bi fi president ci jamono bobu the NIA operatives will do everything it must to ensure that Jamaica's interest is preserved correct sa yu nek NIA bi dinañ doxale liggey bi ci anam bi nga xamantene dañ ko doxale non wara doxe ci force pour gis na la lepp lo xamantene ci libi liggey bo lu itel ya jamé rek lolu amna operatives are normally there to collect information and send it to the headquarters ñu daal suñu liggey fofu mo ni mo faral di demé rek moy dajale ay xibar yone ko ci makhan bu mag bi mr seka operatives were also involved in arrest mané mr seka gis nga ñi nga xam ñu amé walu doxalin liggey bi sa ñu ñi sa bokk nañ ci ñi nga xamantene dañ dé téyé nit ñi dañ dé japp the headquarters level yes that's correct wa su tollo be ci jamano makhan bu mag bi waaw fofu nañ ko fay def can you tell us about uh, the culture of uh, torture at the NIA ndayo mun nga ñoo wax ada bi nga xamantene ne mo doon am fofu ci NIA bi sunu dem ci walim bugal ak metital nit ñi ñu fa dé tié culture of torture at the NIA started well when the establishment of the investigation unit in that department started bu ga li nga xamne mom lay ñoo def nit yi fofu mu nga commencer jamono bi nga xamne ci lañ sos bunta bi nga xamne ñom ñoo de seytu wa li gess wi and when was that lolu kañ la won is 1994 mu ngi amon atum 1994 ci la commencer and uh, what was the responsibility of this investigation unit legi bunta bi nga xamante ñoo amé walon seytu bi ñoñi sen liggey lan la umba that time point in time they were responsible for the arrest detention and investigation of cases jamono bobu nak ñom li lo sen taxaway moy ñu dem jappa nit ñi tegle mbir na bari pare def ay gestu ci seeni mbir what are some of the na- uh, the nature of cases that the NIA will be involved in investigating legi wax ñu yeen ci ban fa son case mo nek ci ban fa zone liggey ngeen de def ci lu dem ci walun gestu ci mbir yoy non most of the cases are executive directives at the time li ci oppo yep moy dal ay ndigal yo xamne mo ngay baye ko taxaw can you tell us what executive directives are xam nga dañ buga nga wax ñu comme so waxe am ndigal yi mu ngi joge ci president bi moy executive directive legui bu ngane nga fram fancial ñu lool lool la la tek those days this is a norm that executive directive is always from the head of state jamono bobu nak lolu ada la won bo xamne euh digal yi nga xamne mom lañ daan jot ci kow yeb mu nga daan baye ko ci njit rew mi and how will the NIA react to an executive directive legui bu fekke ne president bi jox na len digal pour ngeen def yen lolu naka ngeen ko de tie ak naka ngeen de jeufandeko ak lolu times has per directive legue legue nak dañu sukkandeku ci ling digal yi nga xamne non lañ ñu ko joxe and can you tell us what will be some of these directives that uh, will come nda legue mun nga ñoo wax 
ndigal yi nga xamanteni ñu leen de leen de jeu jox nak ci ban anam la de ñëwé son wil comme verbal son wil comme routine légué lek dañ ko binda légué lek mu doon ay cadeau and who will be directed um, to do some things with respect to the directives that are sent legi ndigal bi bu ñëwé ci kan lañ ko dé ebal kom koku mo wara doxal ndigal bi nga xamanteni lool lañ ebal ci mom the directive will come to the director general then to the head of investigation department ndigal bo wona dafa jaar ci ki nga xamné moy khalifa ga di director general bi bu ko defé nak koku dal diko wacce ci bunta bi nga xamné ñom tamit ño saytu mbir gestu yi Can you tell us instances where directives were received and how it was acted upon? Nda mun nga ñoo wax rek ci lego legi bo len ñëwé bañ len jox ay ndigal ben ndigal yi ak ci naka ngeen ko dé def. That is during the early days not later on. Lolu ci ñël ben bela won la wax dé waxuma legi. That's what I say has for directives. Lolu la wax dafa dess rek ci ndigal bi nga xamné non la ñëwé. I'm now seeking for examples. Legi man ci mang la laaj pour nga wax ma ay misal ci yoy. Where a directive was issued. Fa len joxe ndigal. And how it was acted upon. Te ndigal bobu yen naka ngeen jeufandeko ak ndigal bu ngi len jox non. Like that of the April 26. Ci misal euh April ñaar fukki fana juroom ben. I want us to discuss the April 26 later on. Now we're talking about the early part of it. Legi legi luma buga gis nga lu xewon ci wéri april tout ah ci wéri april fukki fana jurom ben remember you told ñu watané lolu ñu watané lu xewon lu daan xew ci watu bobu non la bala lolu remember you told us that the culture of torture at the NRA started with the um establishment of the investigation unit yow fatale ko nga né wax nga ñu fi né nga né mbugal ak metital yi nga xamanteni ñu ko doon def na e mu ngi door ci jamono bi nga xamanteni ubu ne ubu nañ bunta bi nga xamanteni ñu amé walu gestu fofu non ci bir na e bi and in most cases the investigation unit work under directives te ci sa yu nega rek mbo fanna bo wala mbotaay bobu non ñuy wa investigation ñu dé setu mbir ñom sen liggéey suñ koy doxal rek daf dé fekk ci kon digal lañ ko def My question is in those early days. Legi suma la ci bi moy ci ci jamono yoyu nonu ci ñel ben ba won. Can you give us an example of when an investig uh, when an executive directive was issued? Mun nga ñoo jox misal mu fekk ne joxe nañ leen li nga xama moy ndigal joge ci president bi. And how it was acted upon? Te lolu naka ngeen ko defé won. When the director general received the directive from the executive suñ director general bi bu fekke ne jot na cadeau yu baye ko ci kilifa gi jitti rew mi we lease with the dañu joko ak the man in charge of the investigation department ki nga xamne mo mo jitté bunta bi nga xamne ño saytu wali gestu yi of carry out the operation has the president wants it pour mu doxalé ko ni nga xamne non la ko president bi soxla In order for us to arrive at the answer to my question, let me just give you several questions to answer. Legi, pour ñu mëna aga ci li nga xamanteni lo la la laaj. When the investigation haram man laaj la yeneen laaj pour ñu mëna aga ci tontu bi. When the investigation unit was set up. Buñ taxawalé walum buntu bi nga xamanteni ñoy saytu mbir ni. Can you tell us the individuals that were part of it? Ndax mën nga ñoo wax nit ñi nga xamanteni ñoo ci bokkon. Remember I I say I I joined the agency in 1998. Fa tele kul ne dama ne ma ngi bokka ci liggey bi atum 1998. It was four years before my coming. Lolu nak dañ ko sos ñenti at bala ma ñew. Okay um, th that that is a bit unfair to ask you then. Man lolu waru pour ñu laaj la ko kon. Now let me move to around 1998 when you um started with the NIA legi xara ñu doole ko ci atum 1998 mu fekk moy jamono bi nga xamanteni ci nga door liggéeyal NIA bi can you give me the names of the people that were in the investigation department ndax mu nga ñoo jox tour ñi nga xamanteni ñu ngi bokkon ci walum guest bi fofu non ci fanna bobu ti ngay found for the bari has the officer commanding ya kar na fekk na fa for the bari mo moy ki xamne mo fa jité won bamba mané lit def ci yalla sid bamba mané Lamin Dabo Ninja 
na mindabo ninja lamin fati mandas lamin fati mandas jaune jaune cham omar omar cham this is what i can remember ñoñu la muna fatale ko and um, when you newly started at the NIA legi bi nga doore s1 fofu ci NIA bi can you tell me the operations of uh, this particular group ndax mu nga ñoo wax ñi nit ñi nga xamanta ñoñu nga lim fi naka lañ doon def sen liggey no other time i was not at the investigation department jamono bobu nak nekuma won ci buntu bi nga xamne ñoo saytu won bir gis yi ñoñu nekkon so i would not know they are modus of operation at the time bon na duma mu na xam ñom sen liggey naka la daan deme jamono bobu because investigation department is such a, a sensitive department that ndax te fofu nga xamne ñoo de def mbiri gessu yi bereb la bo xamne bu jara baye hel la not everybody access that unit at the time ne ku ne ku ne ka rek da nga dugga ci bir fu jamono bobu you may as well have been a um, part of the political department yo tammi mun bokkon nga ci ñi nga xamane ño amé walum fanna political politique bi but nonetheless you were working within the premises of the NIA way be tay yang don liggey ci fofu nonu ci NIA bi yes that's and right and as an operatives that have been at the NIA for as long as you have comme ñi nga xamane ño de amé walum doxalen liggey bi te ñu ngi nek fofu nonu nonu ci NIA bi you are privy to certain information yo amna yena xibar mun nga ci jot as a result of you walking there comme ka yo yam fa don liggey that's correct so if you can please help us and Leg. tell us how these individuals operated legi nda nga dimbele ñu rek pour nga wax ñu nit ñi nga xamanteni ño fa nek naka lañ doon doxale sen liggey they will be arresting suspects eh ñi nga xamne ñom lañ foge dara dina leen dem ci jappale the torture is just a custom at the time eh jamono bobu nak ay mugal yek miti tali ñoo tek ni ñi lolu mom aada la fa won jamono boba so anybody arrested and detained kep ko xamne dem nañ jappale be indi la taaj la fu ben bërëb especially on government interest cases so true ci mbir yo xamne nak itel na ngor gi of a uh, torture was a force that you have to encounter lolu mom borom fok mu jaar ci ay mbugal ay metit yo xamne nañ ko ko tek and um, the torture's method at on detainees legi mbugal ak metit yi nga xamne ñoo leen de tek nit yi nga xamne ñoo leen fa jappon ad the names that you gave me are they the same operatives that will carry out these tortures legi tour yi nga xamanta yoy nga ma limal fi nda ñoy ñoy nek ben nit yi nga xamanta ñoy de doxal wala di def mbugal yoy nonu fofu they are part of it yes wa bokka nañ ci and from time to time transfer will comes others will stay others will go legi legi nak day am ay toxal yoy am ñeneen ñi leen ñew ñeneen ñi baye ko fa Can you tell us uh, where will detainees be tortured at the NIA? Nda mon nga ñoo wax ñi nga xamanté jappana leen fofu ci NIA fa leen na yobu di leen bugal di leen metital ci ban bérep In those days normally tortures are conducted at the conference hall. Jamono bobu nak fi nga xamné fa leen daan metitalé ñi ci fofu ñu ko daan défé ci conseil hall bi mu hall ba nga xamné fofu leen dé dajé especially on panel cases surtout nak ci ñi nga xamné sen bir dañ ko téewal ci kanam ay kilifa yo xamné dañ leen tan fofu ñu ko panel and normally this is done after closing hours té nak li ci upp yépp dañ ko dé faral di def gannaaw bu nit ñi wacce liggéey ba paré what was the working hours of the NIA between what time and what time NIA yeen sen walun liggéey ci ban waxtu be ba waxtu ngende liggéey at the headquarters at the time it was from 8 to 4 ci makan ba fofa de jamono bobu digenté jurom ñetti waxtu ci suba la ba ñeenti waxtu then later it was adjusted to 6 pm gana bi na ci lañ ko yok def ko be jurom benn waxtu and you mentioned that tortures usually occur 
after working hours te yo wax nga ne fi suñu la waré metti tal di lam bugal ñong ko def ci jamono bi nga xamone wattu liggéey bu romana that's correct waaw non la why do you think uh, they will wait until after working hours to torture detainees legi lu tañu wara bay be liggéey waxtu liggéey bi passé be pare ñu wara indi fofu ay nit di lem bugal because you know the agency is a strictly compensation ndax te fofu bëreb la bo xamné dafa am ay haajal haajal yo xamné mo fa nek and you cannot conduct torture during working hours te do mu na def mitital yoyu nak ci kaw borom jamono yi xamné nit ñang fa nek di liggéey because people will know about it ndax te boko defé nit ñi dinañ ko yek So they choose night hours because it's done in secret. Ngir legi ñom dañ dé bëgg dañ ko dé bëgg def ci guddi. Ngir jamono bu bu nonu nañ ko def té nubako té kenn du ko yek. That's correct. Lool dé gëna. And where these the only operatives that um, you've heard about being engaged or involved in torture. Legi nit ñi nga xamanté ñoo ñi nga wax ni ñoo ñoo nga xam wala ñoo ñi nga digane dañ bokka ci nit ñi nga xamanté né dañ dé mbugal nit ñi fofu nonu de len metti tal fofu I'll give you the names again dina la joxat sen turi and you can add any other names that uh, comes to your mind na suma la ko wax su fekké na sax hel dem na ci kenn ak ki nga xamanté né bokka na ci mën nga ko ci yokka you've mentioned uh, foré bad bari wax nga fi turi foré foré bari Bamba Mane Bamba Mane Lamin Dabo Lamin Dabo Lamin Fati Lamin Fati Jawne Jawne Omar Cham Omar Cham Who else Ak Kanati Musa Kinte Musa Kinte Lit Nebsi Alassi And also Lamin Jobate Ak Lamin Jobate <coughs> Which Lamin Jobate are you referring to Ban Lamin Jobate nga nek di wani former minister muso nane ka minister tell us about that wa ñu ci lolu dara because he was also part of the investigation at the time wa ndax mom itam jamono bobu mu ngi bokkon ci fanna gi nga xamne ño saytu mbir gestu yi fofu have you heard of instances where he was involved in torture nda yo am nga fekke nga wala gis nga fi nga xamantene bokkana ci ñi nga xamantene ñu ko don nit ki nga xamantene ñu ko don bugal diko metti tal fofu I heard about it. I was in Guam. Who did you hear this from? Kan nga dege li during the Farafenya attack. Jamono chonga ga nga xamne mom lañ jëfon ci Farafenya. Gon? I heard he was involved in the torture of Mbalo Kanté. Diga nane bokkon na ci ñi nga xamne ño doon mugal Mbalo Kanté. When did you hear about this particular information? Yo kan nga jotone xibar bi ni won. Long time ago. Ya gana de. Can you give us a time frame as to when you heard about it? Nda mo nga ñoo jox wattu bi comme nga limal ñu wattu bi nga xamantene ci la lolu xewon. This was in 2007. Lolu mu ngi xewon at 2007. Apart from Fode uh, Bari, Bamane, Lamin Dabo, Lamin Fati, Jaune, Jaune, Omar Cham, Omar Cham, Musa Kinte, Lamin Jobate, who else? Did you hear was ever involved in torture at the NIA? Nga muso na dega ne muso na boka ci nit ñi nga xamantene ño daan bugal di metti dal nit ñi fofu ci NIA bi. And the special operation unit ci fa nga xamne moy fanna bi nga xamne dañ ko ber jaklel ko ñuy doxal walu liggey bi fofu when was the special operation unit uh, established mbunta bi nga wax ni nga xamantene ñom len ber pour ñu def liggey bi the special operation unit in 2014 at 2014 who were the individuals that were part of the special operation unit ba yan nit ño bokkon ci fanna bi ni di special operation unit it was headed by lamin dabo lamin dabo moko jité won tamba mansari tamba mansari bokar sala bokar sala
these individuals were they the only three that were part of this special operation unit? No, they there are more than but I cannot remember the rest. Maybe as we move to uh, with your testimony. When you can recall a name, you can easily take me back to this. Okay, counsel. The manner in which uh, these individuals operated. That is a uh, torturing of. Uh, Suspects or detainees. Was it something that was accepted by the leaders of the NIA? At the time, yes, whether you like it or not, you have to accept it. It was a practice that was endorsed and institutionalized at the NIA. That's correct. And uh, these individuals that were engaged in torture, did they have any special privileges at the NIA? Non to my knowledge. Was there any instance when they were reprimanded for their actions? Not to my knowledge. So torture was a norm at the NIA and it was normal. Exactly. Can you tell us about the unlawful detentions at the NIA? Yes, you know, constitutionally, you cannot detain somebody for more than 72 hours. At the NIA, can be detained as long as two, three months. Depending the, the outcome of the case you are involved in. And in those instances, um, will the individuals be charged? No. Did it? Will they have access to lawyers? No. Did it? Will they have access to their families? No. Did it? Will they have access to um things like uh, mosquito nets or beddings no where will detainees be usually kept at the NIA the cells but some will be detained at a uh, light detention at the main gate. Did everyone working at the NIA at that time know that? Individuals were being tortured. tortured and unlawfully detained at the NIA premises. Yes. Well, wow. 
how about if an operative su wegena tam ki nga xamanteni mo amé walun doxalen liggéey bi say that he is not aware of any tortures wax na né mu na mom yegut ci mbugal bi wala metital yuñ dé def that accord at dna fofu nonu ci dna bi maybe he could not be uh, prepared to be part of it hej na dafa fekk borom mom bokul ci but one way or the other you will hear about it why nak nu meuna deme dal mom di nga degg ni mo fa xew every nia operative or worker knew that torture was taking place at the nia premises amma kepa ko xamantene boka nga ci doxale ni liggey nia wala ya ngi nekk ki nga ya ngi liggey fofu ci nia xam nga ne mbugal mom dafa nekk li nga xamantene daf dan far di xew fofu rek Yes especially those working at the headquarters. Wow, surtout ñi nga xamné ñoy liggéey fofu ci kër gu magge. And how about unlawful detentions? Légui ñi nga xamanténe tek nañ lém fofu té jaraloñ ko ci loi. Nak ñoñu tam sen bir nak. Yes. Wow. So if an individual if any operative feels a questionnaire ke pa ko xamanténe ya nga comme ya nga amé ci walun liggéey bi fofu non def nga li nga xamantene moy lu ñu oyé questionnaire indicating that he had never heard about torture or witness torture mo amé laaj bi nga xamantene mo nekk fofu né comme borom waxna né mo musu ta yek fuñ bugalé wala metital nit or any form of human rights violations would that be a lie wala mu waxna yegut fi nga xamantene ya xamné ah ak yelle fi doomi adam ndax lolu mën nañu wané lolu fenn la could not be a lie because the individual may be posted outside for a number of years before coming to the headquarters munna baña nek fen te munna nek ne borom ñu ko ebalo muy liggey ci biti nek doon di liggey ci fi nga xamne moy makkani nae bi so long as you are at the headquarters way nak bu fekke ne yang fa you will heard about it a fok nga degane mo fa xew mr seka as an nae operative mr seka comme ka yo ki nga xamantene da nga bokka ci ñu ñuy doxale doxale ni liggey bi fofu ci NIA will there be any instances where an individual will be working for the NIA for years and never ever step foot in the headquarters or know about the things or the mode of operation of the NIA ndax nit mu na nekk di liggey NIA bi te mu fekk ñu ko ebal ci biti ne ko di liggey ci mahama bu mag bi borom bu wax ne musu da tek tankam bir NIA wala xamut anam bi nga xamantene non la NIA de defal def sen liggey ndax nit mu na wax ne lolu daf ko dal it can be you know most of these things happen at the investigation department mu na am de ndax li nga xamne moy dox yeb mu ngay xewé ci bunta bi nga xamne ñoo saytu bi very few officers do have access to investigation department ñi fa liggey ñu neew rek ñoo de mu na egg ci bëreb bu you can hear only hear it dang ba fa nekk ne dang ko degg rek what you can witness it why do ko sede de exactly because no, even no, private citizens ñi nga xamantene doomi rew mi lañ fi that have no access ñi nga xamantene sa mënu ñoo jot to the nia bir nia mënu knew pardon. about the tortures ngir ñooñu xam nañu that was taking place at the nia xam nañ mbugal ak metital yi nga xamantene mo doon xew fofu ci nia bi so there will be no way legi du du mëna am ci ben anam bi nga xamantene an nia operative won't know about the mode of operations of the nia which involves torture ki nga xamantene ne mu ngi bokka ci doxalin ni liggey bi mu taxaw wax ne mo xamul ne comme mbugal ak metital daf daan am fofu non that's correct lol degala thank you jere jef with respect to unlawful detentions at the nia ci su ñewé ci walu li nga xamantene nit ñoy japp fofu non te teguñ ci ko ci yoon Will it be every instance that an individual is brought in that their details are collected and put in the NIA entry? Ndax lu daf daan fardi am fofu non. Ke ba ko xamantene dañ la wara denc fofu non wala ñu la waja denc fofu non. Dañ la yobbu jël sa touri ak fi nga joggé ak bagage yi nga xam yoy nga andal ñu jël yeb bind ko. Not in all instances. Ben ni ka sa yu nekk de. Can you tell us about that? da mon nga ñoo wax ci lolu there are times people are brought in legeli nga dina ñu indi ay nit by the special operation unit 
Without having any records at the gate. And they will be detained there. And those individuals, would anyone know that they are detained at the NIA apart from the people that brought them in? Yes, at the end of the day, the security will know. Wow, you Because every morning, the security will go around the cells. Nyom security bobu dina njem wur celli. And confirm how many detainees are slept there. Pour muna viral nyata nit lany fa japa nyu fa fanan. During those days, will there be an occasion where there will be no one detained at the NIA for a period of time? Yes. Wow. Are you sure about that? No, And will that be a lengthy time or a short period of time? Depends. In uh, most cases, how many people will be detained at the same period of time? That is if you know. No, I may not know that statistic because people come, people go. Can you give me a minute, please? Can you tell us about um, the time when you worked at the TDA? Can you come again? Can you tell us the time when you work at the tourism development area? Yo, nda munga nyowa si jamano binga hamante yangi lige si bere binga hamante na my tourism development area be. Can you tell us what happened to you? Can you tell us what happened to you? I was one day called to report to the headquarters to the DIS then the DIS then then upon my arrival Bama Age. He told me to see Babukar, who was the head of the investigation department. So Babukar told me to sit and wait for him. Babukar ne nak na talk harko. I was there for almost closing time. Ne kana fa be jamano jinyo waja wacha ligi. Then Musa Kinte came Musa Kinte and told me that Nema. he was directed then Ebal to inform me that for Muhammad Mane. he had to detain me. Then my water to you, Fufu. When was this? Can you recall the date? Lee Kanila one, I'm going to ask you to be at B. This was in May, but I cannot exactly remember in date, in 2007. Uh, at room 2007, how my best one. On your statement, you said on the 25th of May 2007, is that correct? On the 27th. 27th. 25th. That's correct, 25th of May. And can you tell us what happened when they informed you that uh, they've received orders that you are to be detained? Legi, I said, no problem, then we went to the vehicle. <coughs> the vehicle I saw one uh, Victor Demba. Chabir Motoba Magiswa Kenna Kunyo Victor Demba. Lamin Star Baji from the police. Lamin Star Baji, Mon Police La. I was taken to Bakao Station. 
New Boma Bakao police yeah. station. Where I was detained. Lamin Starbaji was taken to Kairaba station. Lamin Starbaji mom New Boko Kairaba station. Victor was taken to go to police station. Victor mom New Boko go to police station. At that point, did they tell you what you were being accused of? Legisi watu bobo nunlen. Nda wa nenyla yo lenyla tumalon. No. They did. Were you surprised that they did not inform you as to what you're being accused of? No. Why were you not surprised? Because I was being accused of the principle of NTK need to need to know basis. Do you not inform me? Ndakte kia hamne principle bi mo wara ham kiga ame wali hibari mo wara ham pumun mako ege. But you know that is a fundamental principle um, of fair hearing for someone to be informed that they are being accused of a particular offence being, before being taken. Ham nga lulu dafa nega li nga hamanten. Akha nit kila si li so nyewe si li nga hamanten yune da nga wara aten nit. Si anam bi nga hamanten li nga haman lulu nga kotumal da nga wara wak mu yeko. That's si correct. And to a large extent, no. The NIA does not even pay heed to those principles. Is that correct? No, Lucia. Sata, you know, the Fanega Linga Amnes NIA, no Kunju Dahalesi called Satabu. That's correct. Which was the reason why you were not informed of what you were accused of in the first place, correct? No, more Sababon, Sabiga Lunila, Lutahio, New Tiela Walla, New Tumala. That's correct. So what happened afterwards? Legal and more help of a little jigger. And I was at Bakao Station for three days. Mangi neka Bakao Police Station, diri nyati fan. And Musa Kinte came for me again to the headquarters. Musa Kinte dal di nyowa si manak. I was then detained at the main entrance. Nyowa bu manak, ya fanga hamne mo di kirgu magi NIA ba, nyo taj ma, ya fanga hamne mo ibunta bu magba nyo duge. Where I found the former MP, Duda Kamaso, when you arrived at the NIA, where details entered into the NIA register book? No. They did. I remember. So what happened? And more help. Then I was there for some days. One day a colleague of mine. The light detention you were referring to, you said you met Duta Kamaso, a former National Assembly member, correct? That's correct. And you spent several days there. That's correct. Did you spend those days with her there? With others. Which I don't know. I don't know them. Yeah. Roughly how many people? Boko Ware Haima, Yom Yata Langwan. More than seven people. Panenjuro Miarinit. Do you know why Duta Kamaso was arrested and detained there? The Hamgaluta Duta Kamaso, Yu Japako, Teko Fufun. At the time, no, because I was thinking of my own problem. Yamanamo, how Makodek Madam Smabo Paladon Halat. So, what happened after spending three days at light detention? Lan mo heo buni la japi efo funo no si japi nbo oyef nga defa nyeti fan. Na colleague one a colleague of mine. Kena na chisuma lige endori. By the name Babu Njai. Ndi ko wa Babu Njai. Inform me that. Mo mahamal ne. Today you will be tortured. Hey day mo abdi ne lembugal de. Um, just before we go into that, you mentioned light detention. Why is it referred to as light detention? Because it's not a cell. How is the place like? 
Bereba, Nakala Melon. It's the main gate reception. The phone can be found at Bereba Banyo Dajela, Rek Ufucha Bunta Bumakba. You told us that a colleague of yours, by the name Babukar, came and informed you that today you'll be tortured. That's correct. How did you receive that news? Very shocking, but after all, I was expecting it too. Because in those days, if you are arrested, the order of the day is torture. Especially in government interested cases. Well, I prepared myself mentally that I will face that torture. Late in the evening, they called me to the panel. When I entered the hall, I recognized the NIA personnel present, namely Sirif Wada, Babu Karjalo. Babu Kar Jalo. Babu Kar A.R.K. Jalo. Babu Kar A.R.K. Jalo. Samba Gajaga. Samba Gajaga. Lamin Dabo. Lamin Dabo. Alaji Moor. Alaji Moor. And from the police, and I recognize Salif Nyang. Chewali police, we know how many of us Salif Nyang. Boto Keta. Boto Keta. The other two, I don't know them. Why not? This is the Nyar, you have many of them. And Usman... Yes, that's Babu Kajalo. Wow, Babu Kajalo. Mm -hmm. You entered the panel room. Yes, I was in the room. 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 And sitting before the panel. I was in the room. 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 That's the correct. people that you've worked with. That's correct. Tell us how um, they received you. Uh, very arrogantly. Especially Babu Karjalo. told me that he received an information that I was working with the rebels from Kasamas. Because one of the rebels was arrested with a motorcycle. And he said that particular motorcycle I registered it at Birkama Police Station. Man, Marco register Birkama Police Station. I look at Babukar. Mahol Babukar. I'm, I'm disappointed. Man, I'm I thought you would have made your findings. Man, forgot none. I get this. I guess too. Before calling me. Balanga ma o. The motorcycle here. Motorcycle B. As a sassy number. Birkama Station. Birkama Station. Still existing. You didn't do your findings. You are asking me. Man, gadi malaj. Motorcycle that was seized from the rebels. Motorcycle bo ham ne nyung konang go chirebeli. During that period. The watu bobo no no len. You've told us that you were working at the TDA. Yang yo wang nyung ne yang no lige si bunta bingo wa TDA. Were you engaged in any investigations? No. Did it? Were you surprised that they were accusing you of working with uh, rebels? No. rebels? Yes. Wow. 
And why was that? Because at that point in time, I was at TDA, far away from the border, where these rebel activities was going on. I was surprised. Did they produce any evidence before the panel? No, they only tell me they have an information. And then what happened? Then Alaji Moore, Alaji Idrissa Job, starts out in insulting my mother. Say, and he came towards me and stripped me off. Put handcuffs on me. Start beating. Call upon Lamin Dabo. Join him in the beating. You've told us that um, Idris Job coughed your hands. Can you tell us um, what position your hands were on, at, on your front or at your back? In front. You also told us that he stripped you of your clothes. That's correct. Were you left with any clothing on? Naked. These were your colleagues that you worked with. These are people I have very high regards for. I need to learn your name. Especially some of them who are seated. So to me, I need to learn your name. While this was ongoing, did anyone stop Idrissa Job from stripping you of your clothes? That can. No. And you also mentioned the beating. What were they using to beat you with? They were using wires. And Lavindabo was using to call it. this cable we are buying. Lamin Dabo mom the Fujilun uh why you have them corrupt. I have to struggle and lie on my stomach to protect my face. Nima def moy dama dupu ndax mamuna ar suma har hanam bi. Which parts of your body were they beaten? Si sab yaram bi si ban bor lañ don dor. I give them my back. Suma ganaw gila len jo. My legs. Suma tankai. Everywhere. Puneka. Except my feet and my stomach. Hana suma birbi, ak suma har hanam bi, ak suma aura bi. For how long did they beat you? Se buñ la don dor naka la yage won. It almost lasted, lasted for 20 minutes. Then Babukar E. R.K. Jalo intervened. And told them to stop the beating. And hear me out. And let them find out first. Before they do anything. 
That's the time they stop the beating. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Witness. Mr. Chairman, I just observed that um, it's one minute past uh, break time. I think they will, this will be a convenient time to stop uh, when we resume, we'll proceed from there. Thank you, Council, and uh, thank you, Mr. Secker. We'll take a um, coffee break, um, 30 minutes, and come back at uh, 12 noon. Meetings adjourned.